Hello, my name is Rajesh Vashist. I am a second year MBA candidate and Center for Digital Strategies MBA fellow at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College. I'm pleased to welcome Barry West, strategic advisor at Clearwire, who is joining us today as part of the Brit Technology Impact Series. Welcome to Tuck, Barry. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Raj. So let me start with asking you a broad question about, can you explain to our viewers what does Clearwire do and how is it, how is it trying to reshape the mobile connectivity for the future? Okay, Clearwire has been building and, and still is building the first 4G mobile broadband network in the United States. It also has uh, some properties in Europe and recently launched a WiMAX network in Malaga in Spain, but it's mainly focusing on the US. Um, 4G, as I expect we'll get into, is really opening up the mobile internet. It's a new space and therefore Clearwire is, doesn't have to go head to head with the existing mobile operators. It really is created a new category and is opening up a new market. So, I mean, I also see some of your competitors coming out with a competitive 4G uh, applications. Uh, primarily, Verizon is coming out with LTE. Can you com contrast WiMAX with LTE? Well, WiMAX and LTE at the technology level are, are fundamentally the same. Uh, WiMAX is a, a more mature technology at this point in time. It has probably a two to three year uh, advantage in terms of the, the development cycle. Uh, but LTE will gain ground and will catch up. And we will see uh, Verizon producing you know, uh, products out there uh, in the near future, I think. And in technology, we've seen that a lot of companies try for like either winner takes it all approach or like uh, early mover advantage, like Amazon did uh, to build an early mover advantage. For WiMAX, what does Clearwire see as their strategy? Do you see a clear winner um, take it all market or do you see an early mover advantage for you? Well, well, firstly, I don't think this ends up as a technology war. This is a brand new category of true mobile broadband experience. Um, and Clearwire has a big advantage in both the spectrum, it has a lot of spectrum throughout the United States, and also the development cycle of the WiMAX uh, technology. But the neat thing about WiMAX and LTE is that it's possible for these to actually merge further down the line, and certainly Clearwire has the option, if and when LTE becomes economically stronger, to, to move to the different technology. Having said that, the, the customer at the end of the day doesn't care whether it's WiMAX or LTE, they want a broadband experience. And, and Clearwire is clearly in a strong position today in delivering that. In fact, it's the only uh, service available really in 4G broadband speeds. So it is nice to hear that in the future, both of them could merge, but in the short term, what are your strategies or are you even thinking of competing with LTE? Naturally, when LTE, you know, LTE will, by definition, will be second to market, so it will compete with WiMAX, just a, <laughs> uh, you know, a viewpoint. Um, I don't see, again, I don't see this as just a straightforward technology war. I think WiMAX will exist for, you know, forever, as far as I can see, in the same way that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth are out there. Um, the early mover advantage is really significant because once customers get a good experience and on the Clearwire network, they're going to be able to maintain that experience under heavy load. I mean, if you've used 3G services, when there's no one on the network, they're excellent. When there's a lot of people on the network, they're not so good. And that is because there's just not enough spectrum. The channel widths are not wide enough to actually deliver a, a great experience. Clearwire has the ability to continue to deliver a really good experience under heavy load because of the spectral advantage that it has. It has over 100 megahertz in most of the major markets. What are some other differences that you would uh, help, uh, that will help you differentiate versus LTE? Like you mentioned that you are going from the laptop into the mobile handset. Yeah, I mean, LTE is has come from the, the GSM family, from the 3GPP family, uh, which really developed uh, narrowband devices. The GSM system is without doubt the uh, dominant system for narrowband services. By that I mean vo voice and narrowband data. And so they're sort of migrating with their broadband data 
uh, from a, a narrowband voice-centric service to a broadband uh, data-centric service on a smartphone-type device. Whereas WiMAX is part of the Wi-Fi family, it's really embedded in the computing device. So starting with laptops, notebooks, netbooks, and you know I, the pads that are starting to appear, you're sort of seeing them coming to the same space and obviously going into the smartphone area as well. So you will see them uh, sort of coming from different directions, but ultimately the, the space that people want is the device that people are gonna carry with them all the time, and they'll use it for their voice services, use it for their data services. And what do you think has been the biggest challenge for Clearwire bringing WiMAX to the market? Uh, you know, there have been a lot of challenges. I mean, obviously, the economic uh, situation that we've just gone through, raising money, the, the deal that brought together the Sprint assets and the Clearwire assets into the new Clearwire was probably one of the most difficult deals in telecom history. If you think about that, two companies putting their assets together and then major investors in Intel, Google, uh, Time Warner, Newhouse, and um, Comcast, and Google, of course, all investing in one deal. It was just an amazing deal. But the impact of that is that it kind of slowed the deployment uh, process. So we're, we're a little further behind than where I envisaged we'd be at, at this time. But the new team under Bill Morrow is doing a fantastic job Markets are rolling out. We have um, 28 markets launched now. Uh, about 38 million people in the U.S. covered with the WiMAX service, uh, you know, and they're rolling out new markets every day. By the end of this year, the target is to cover 120 million of the U.S. population. So a phenomenal machine going on in Clearwire right now, uh, and Bill has every reason to be proud of that team.